if at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again. So here I go again. The megacity confusion, part three, urban development. So I have satisfied myself that the way forward in the development of a rich, resilient, and versatile Lagos lies partly in the development of some of the very same characteristics it already possesses, but which our planners and government officials deem too lowly for a megacity. Good ideas come to naught if they are delayed or thwarted. This is almost always the case. Lagos is run like a fiefdom of one man and his followers. His son is behind the biggest of the public billboard marketers, as Lagos has its views obliterated by huge boards. One hears through the grapevine that people close to or in power here have lined up to own the new Okada Keke boat taxi businesses that will be licensed shortly. I can only wait to see the gentrification of Takwa so that it becomes an escape for the rich. Now, if they did this but charge good sums for the plots of land, then apply the proceeds to adequate resettlement plans for those evicted and other low cost and affordable housing schemes. Perhaps I might see some sense, finally, in our government, but I doubt it very much. Decentralization of Lagos is key to positive progress. We cannot continue to have most important activities all located on what we call the island. Incentives should be explored to spread things around. Housing too ought to be mixed in some areas, bringing opportunities for some affordable and lower cost estates, even in central areas. We should build new, stable, and aesthetically pleasing accommodation on stilts in areas where these are viable. Makoko is in itself a beautiful idea, a romantic one. The view from a distance proves this. It is when you go up close that you can see the, the, the bad aspect. Lagos is water. A system of low-lying floodplains and dikes ought to be immediately explored, designed and prized as a means of controlling flood. It is expensive, very, very expensive, but we are failing to save our city if we do not do this. New ports along the coast in Ondo State, for instance, are required so that we may shut down Apapa Keys, turn it into a new neighborhood, connect it to Marina. Tinkan Island will see reduced activity and the Bafon Petroleum Jet is removed and moved to less metropolitan area. Marina car parks should be removed, replaced with grassed park with multi-level parking in five circular structures that resemble beautiful silos. Now, will the rail line ever be completed? It is becoming an embarrassment. Put out Ambodi's boats and buses, add some more, bring back regulated Okada, enforce good driving manners, create new strategic transport routes and bridges. Lagos is a wealth of ideas waiting to happen, the collage city of my dreams, but the fiefdom will have to be destroyed first. This is crazy. Chicago, Minister I mean, of Urban yeah, Development. If you, don't, if you don't know, this is the perfect blueprint. As in, if you're a minister and you have no clue what to do, this is your blueprint. Please take it and run with it. I don't see anything here that Chuka is even proposing that is really out of our grasp or out of our reach. Well, the the we, dikes and silos, yeah, it says. I mean, all it, these are just small, 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 small. Like you said, build beautiful stilts. Let people see the beauty of Lagos. Stop making Lagos into this concrete... Um, jungle. Yeah, it's just nasty. Mm -hmm. um, I, I really love this, Chukan. Like, I mean, I, like we said, we, we, you really should run. You know, Minister of de <laughs> Development. <laughs> no, but you no. see, what, what I like about it is, because I'm, I'm not sure how, I can't verify that, you know, I'm not an architect, so I'm not an urban developer. Mm, so I'm I know trusting, that maybe that conversation him. needs to be had to look into how viable in terms of practice, right. but I know you have that experience. Mm. What I even like is that you're thinking, and mm. you're thinking yeah. about incorporating what already exists. Mm. You're right, actually, Makoko does look attractive. Yes. It's like a mini Venice. Mm. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and a lot of films are being candy. shot there, yes. you know, because people like yeah, the idea right. of boats between houses. Correct. Uh -huh. yeah. So we just need to find a way of making sure the water system is cleaner. People are not yes. pulling into the water, yes. you know, correct. and then That's it can it. become, yeah. you know, yeah. some kind of attraction. So the things we have thought about. Can I chip in that? Mm. Um, my, my big issue from my perspective as an economist is that there's actually, uh, I look at the population growing, I look at the plans in terms of urbanization and all of that and housing itself. I see that uh, so for 60 years, this country has never had a plan for the accommodation of the most vulnerable yes. people. They don't care. So the best we had is okay, Jack, no Conde. Jack Conde. Has, Jack Conde is the, you know, the example they give. Yeah. But Jack Conde built 29,000 flats. 
in Lagos, all right? And yeah. for civil servant, two bedroom, three bedroom flat. Yeah. We're saying that even if somebody was just a single person just moving around, what can he afford? Mm. What plans have you had for the, the average guy that's living in his father's mm. home? And where is you know, student? Yes, you know. So let me tell you, in South Africa, they built 605,000 uh, what they call hostel rooms mm. under apartheid. So what I've seen is what they call elite consensus. Yes. They have not had it in this part, in this Nigeria. Mm. Lastly, on the real issue, mm. I, I begged Fashola as a columnist myself. Okay. I begged Fashola, and all these guys don't listen. I don't, I don't support any of them anymore. <laughs> you know, that look, if all you did was launch two kilometers of this of metro before you left, you, left, yeah. you would have set the ball rolling that whoever is coming will increase it. Yeah. Now it's moribund. If you go down Badagri Ex Expressway, people run from Ajangbadi, from Vokes, from all they, they dump refuse in on, on the, the rail track. Wow. Chuka, um, maybe you have to have a part five. My goodness. Of this, <laughs> um, because if you look at the mortgage system here, yeah. it's oh, completely dead. It's non existent. It's dead. People, <laughs> so civil servants, it. civil servants. Interest rate is crazy. So tomorrow, when somebody says, "Okay, we we'll deregister some of the mortgages bank," we we'll say, "No, you are not caring for the poor." That's a topic for another day. Yeah, come. <laughs> people <laughs> say, people contribute money every month. Right. Contributory uh, a fund yes. for federal mortgage yes. bank, yes. Mortgage bank. Yes. and yet there are no housing. So mm. federal mortgage bank are looking for people who are building to partner with, yes. and yet you are not giving funds to anybody to build. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you look at, he talks about urbanization. I said it here last time. This Oniru, for example, the whole of Oniru yeah. can house everybody in Victoria Island. All you just no, need uh, is, uh, let, let me finish. Okay. All you need is just two acres of land, 25 story buildings. And at the end of the day, all of this other space that you occupy, people will. And so you know the number of cars you will take off the road because we've had to do a census of the cars that come into VI every, yes, every day and go out. Come to VI by, by 8, 9 sometime. Apart from those of us clubbing, every other place is empty. Mm. And then in the morning, everybody again from Ikorodu, Ajangbadi, uh, Kukomaiko, um, they Ekpe, and every, they again. converge on, on the island. Mm. And that's why there's so much traffic. Mm. And so if you, if you create opportunity for some of these people to live in Victoria Island and Ikoi, You'll be surprised the number of cars you can take I mean, off. Why, 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 I'm trying to balance it by saying I like the fact that he talks of decentralizing. Because if you, yes. if you bring in, you still cause congestion that, no, no, eventually. No, when so we say while you're bringing that, in, take industry that's the flip out. Side, that's yeah. the flip side of it mm -hmm. also, at which is where I want also going to. Why concentrate offices in Victoria Island? Yeah, yes. why? What, that, which is that's why it. I moved out of Lagos Island. I said yeah. I can't. I don't see why I should drive from Bagada every morning through the bridge to, to Lagos Island and drive back. When some of my clients, I'm the one that go to them, they don't even come to me. Mm -hmm. anyway. And so my office is just about five blocks from my house. So Excellent. I walk down, I can stay in the office till 12 midnight, and I walk back home. Mm -hmm. And so why don't you have some of these industrial cities in Bagada, yes. in Okokomaiko, mm -hmm. all of these places, said. so that, and then create access to these places. So at the end of the day, people, somebody who lives in Ilukbeju, can walk in a look with you comfortably. Yes. It yes. must not be the banks only yes. Yes. where you okay, you are in a branch in a look with you. Branch and then the day you are posted out to Victoria Island, you know, the whole thing the get messed up for you. Mm. It's it just because we are not thinking. And then the followers also, also we like, you know, healing. We just take one point, the governor is walking mm. as if it's his money. Uh, maybe, maybe just to build on that, it's not even that we're not thinking because I think even if they didn't want to think, you once said, we wouldn't think for them. It's because the orientation of the way we practice politics, the people that are there are not, it's almost like they're not coming there to do the, the things that will benefit us because the ideas are there, even if you don't have it yourself, like Uche said, there are people who have it. Mm. And if you're genuinely looking to make a difference, you will attract those yeah, people. If Chuka, went to, if Chuka went to any of these so called big but, parties, but I'm even saying, they sorry, will sorry, tell just to say, take maybe, 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 maybe the Group. Maybe then yeah. they'll hit you with yeah. 50 million naira yeah. bill at some yes. point in time, and they won't even give and you the platform. You, and and you we are giving you people like you platform. What I'm even saying is that the Chuka. genesis of this has to do with the electoral system, because if you come in on the tails of a godfather, mm. your preoccupation is to pay back. Exactly. Mm. So your preoccupation is not to actually deliver. Absolutely. Which is so why you don't sit down and expect that somebody should bring you on board. Yeah, you and which is why also mobilization here, we like quick fix. Quick fix had never fixed anything. In my area, I started from my area, and there is nowhere. Do you know yesterday, yesterday as I speak to you, they brought a generator to my church. The area boys in part the generator, they had to call me. Please, oh, your boys, your boys. How did they, they become my boys? Boys. Because yes. I relate with them, I mobilize them. 
You know, you don't just sit down in your office, expensive office, and then you wake up one day and say you want to become a governor, a counselor. You must relate. You must mix up. Roll up your sleeve and then mix up. That is how Labour Party became a mega party with PDP. Uh, 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 Libras uh, uh, for uh, which one uh, now? Uh, as much, well, <laughs> as much as possible, we try to tell it like it is so we can change how it is for the better. Do keep your comments coming in on Facebook plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plus TV Africa.com slash the forward slash The Advocate. Now, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, just plus TV Africa. And so, until next week, same time, when we'll be driving more contentious conversations in the interest of a better society. So let's continue advocating behind the scenes. Bye. Bye-bye. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.